Hi, it's Vic. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm sharing with you this box card envelope heart. So to start with, I've used my silhouette machine and I've gone ahead and cut out this Laurie Whitlock file. And I've gone ahead and cut out all the little pieces in some white card. And then I'm just using my marker to colour these in. But you can obviously cut them out with some pattern paper or coloured card if you want to. I just find using white card with these little fiddly bits is a lot easier for me. That's why I've just gone over them with my marker. So now I'm just going to fold up the box. So when this is cut on your silhouette machine, it cuts out all the score lines for you. So it's super easy to put together. So now I'm just getting the pieces that go on the front of the envelope and I'm not going to lie, I got so confused with this, I had another piece left over, wasn't quite sure what that was for, so <laughs> I've just gone ahead and used the four pieces that are cut out and I'm just going in with some worn lipstick just to do some gentle ink blending and I'm using my Time for Tea Designs blender brush for this. So once my ink blending's done, I'm just going to pop them up on that box card just to see what they look like. And now I've got that middle piece, which is where I'm going to adhere down all the hearts. And I'm just using my PVA glue for this. And I love using PVA glue with things like this because it's quite easy if you make a mistake just to gently move your die cut piece before it dries hard. So once all my hearts have been adhered onto that piece, I'm just going to fold the edges and then I'm going to move on to the envelope box. And I'm doing exactly the same thing. I've just got my PVA glue and then I'm going to adhere this down and you'll see here what I mean about using PVA glue because I had to move a couple of the pieces because they was a little bit wonky. And then once the front part's been adhered together nicely, I've got this scalloped insert. So again, I'm using my PVA glue and I'm just going to go ahead and stick that to the back of the card. And now I've just applied some PVA glue to them folds on the side and I'm just pressing them down quite firmly just to make sure that they stick down nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the box together. So for this pink edge, you need to make sure that it's tucked into the actual box itself. So I'm just pinching the edges just to make sure it gets a nice firm grip. And then I've put my finger on the inside part just to adhere that flap back down because it did slip. And then that's pretty much how I've put the box together. So now I'm going to be using the Love Letters stamps and coordinating dies. So this is from Uniquely Creative. And these stamps are so sweet. I loved how they were holding little love notes and the balloons. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp these out. So I've got my Copic Friendly card and also some black memento ink. And I've actually remembered my sentiment, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this out that says Hugs Enclosed, which is included in the stamp set. And now I'm just going to quickly show you how I coloured in these images with my Copic markers. So for all the bunny bodies, I've used E40, E41 and E43. So there's only three markers. But of course you can use whichever colouring medium you want to use. And then for the little envelopes, I've only used two markers, so that's C2 and C0. Thank you. 
and then for some of the balloons and hearts I've used RV00 and R81 and then I've also added the RV00 to their noses. So I start with the lighter shade which is RV00 and then I'm using the R81 just to add some shading and then I'll go over it again with the lighter colour. And then for the last colours I'm using B00 and BG000 so I'm just going to colour in the rest of the balloons and the hearts and then the little clouds. And I use these images because I thought they'd be really sweet for Valentine's Day but then they also go well with birthdays and any cute critter card. So once my colouring's done I've then got the coordinating dies. So I'm just going to pop them on and then I just secure them down with a little bit of washi tape just to make sure they don't slip through the machine while I'm die cutting them. And this is my favourite part, I love popping these out once they're die cut. I don't know if anyone else does that or if it's just me. So now I've got all my images that are coloured and then my sentiment, I'm just planning where to put everything. So once I think I roughly know where I want everything to go, I then go back in with my PVA glue and start adhering these down. And then I wanted that little stamp that has the floating envelope with the clouds around it. I wanted to use some acetate. So once I've got everything adhered down, I've just trimmed off a little strip of acetate and I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape to adhere the top part. And then I also put the tape at the bottom part and then I'll just push this in to make it look like it's floating. And this card once finished will also fit in a standard size envelope. So that finishes up our video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it gives you a little boost just to keep creating because I know people are finding it difficult at the moment. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.